at the Stratford Square Mall in Bloomingdale, Illinois. And this here is an abandoned Carson Perry Scott and the sign is still up as you can see. So, um, probably in the next couple of weeks I'll probably come back and redo the Stratford Square Mall because it has gotten worse since I last filmed this a couple of years ago. So let's go take a look at this. Yeah, and this is during COVID, so that theater is closed, so... And then the Sears over there, that's gone now. If you haven't checked those videos out, check the... I did an open version one of this Sears, and then a closing version one of this Sears. So I'll put, I'll put links to all the videos I've done in, of this area here, as the video rolls. So, yep. Yeah, this was built in 1981. Yeah, check out that architecture work there. Check that entrance out. Let's go peek in some windows. Now, I did I did peek in some uh, windows on the inside of the mall. Those might be our better shots. So, let's see what we can find in here then. There you have it. Inside of an abandoned Carson's. If the door's open. Nope. Ooh. Oh, I thought that was going to open. I thought that was going for a second. Now, unfortunately, Namdar owns this mall now. So, this mall is probably only going to get worse. It's a shame, too. There's a lot of cute little businesses in this mall, though. I just bought a couple, me and, I got friends with me, but they're sitting out in the car because it's a little chilly, but there's a cute little store in there called Christmas Extraordinaire, but it's normally called Gifts Extraordinaire, but for the season they're called Christmas Extraordinaire. They're right in the center court, very friendly people that work there. I bought a couple things there. Support your local businesses, that's what I always say. Okay, so what's over here then? Okay, looks like we got the loading dock over here. Oh, wow. No, no securities behind me. So you can get like right in here. And there's another Carson sign there. I wonder why some stores took them down and some others didn't. That's what a lot of the, well, a lot of Bergners I see, they took their signs down. Oh, wow. Getting, getting into some good stuff here. That's interesting. That's vintage right there. Check that out. back room it looks like all right so this is a two-story store so I'll meet you at the upper level outside I'm at the upper level now so take a look and see what's inside of here abandoned Carson Peary Scott such a shame this one closed uh of course, in 2018, along with the rest of your regional name chains, chain names. I think I said it wrong, but oh well. I wonder if there used to be a restaurant right here. Kind of an indic, like some windows here or something. And there's some graffiti on the window. That's beautiful. I bet this used to have the old school Carson's logo, like the one before when before Bergner's bought them. So straight ahead is the uh, escalators to go down. Beautiful. Yeah, I, I think yeah Carson's left a big void in the Chicago area. It's such a shame. 
And they, they always tended to be the holdout in struggling malls. I mean, they served their communities very well. And they, and they were, and I th in my opinion, they were high-performing high stores. I'm thinking when Bon Ton bought all the nameplates, they just, like, drug them down. They drug down Carson's with them. If you're, like, in a massive amount of debt, I mean, in, in life in general... If you're in a massive amount of debt, would you, like, continue borrowing money? I mean, unfortunately, that's how consumer debt goes. I mean, your car breaks down, you're already in debt, but then you have to get more money. Did, did they really need to buy the rest of the, all these nameplates? That used to be Montgomery Wards over there. The lower level is now Burlington. All right, and there's another sign. So yeah, I I think I think Belk might have well Belk bought like the southern part of the Sax Incorporated chain. I wish Belk would have bought bought everything. Then these would still be around. They may not have been these names, but at least we would have had something. But, who check that out. There's an elevator sign on the floor. Interesting. Got this brick here. Definitely from the early 80s. Nope. And there's another elevator sign up there. I wonder where that came one came, wonder where that one came from then. It is chilly out here guys. All the ceiling tiles are starting to be gone. <sighs> Such a beautiful building. I mean I wonder what's gonna happen to all this then since since Namdar has this now. I mean, if you've seen enough, like, Explorer videos, not just my videos, but other videos, you've seen the results of a Namdar transaction. But the good thing is, is Bloom, the city of, the village of Bloomingdale, or whatever it's called, town, city, village, or whatever, they are not going to give Namdar one red cent until they come up with a plan to do something with this mall and to execute it. So good for the village to do that. So anyway... If you're not a subscriber to my channel, please subscribe to my channel, please, for a lot more content to come. Like, comment, share these videos, please. Stay tuned for an updated version of the Stratford Square Mall, where there's a lot more vacancies. God bless you guys. Continue shopping at your local businesses. Continue shopping at your local mall.